here we have a um, sample of some contour uh, contour lines. Uh, each of these contours has been simplified with um, edge tools to reduce the number of edges. Uh, when you use these simplified contours in, in uh, with sandbox tools, it creates a problem. Um, because, as you can see, the faces here overlap a lot of the contours, so there's this area, because Sandbox Tools doesn't really care about the contour edges, it just triangulates from um, each uh, vertex. So, because of that, the um, generated terrain in this case, particularly here, we have more details and steep areas will look odd. So, to uh, to fix that, you want to introduce more vertices again, sort of doing exactly the opposite of what the simplified uh, curves will are doing. So, in architect tools, you can use this edge grid divide tool which basically it project these grid freaking laser beams and um, it will from each edge it will sort of project a, a plane that will intersect all of these edges here so if I go to top view you'll see it will here split that edge, it will split the edge here. But currently it's set to um, a 10 meter grid system, and this is too big to add the details back to this, um, this terrain. So I'm going to reduce it to a 1 meter grid. Like that. Uh, I'm going to make the edges a lot more dense, but uh, I think I should have selected edges before I started this tool. Um, actually, no, it seems to be working. I just pressed return on the keyboard um, to commit, as it says in the status bar, just to commit the, um, the slicing of the edges. I'll just do some work and um, oops. there we go. These should be now sliced up into much smaller pieces. As you can see here, it used to be one continuous curve, now it's all split up into into smaller ones and if you now select all of these edges and use the sandbox tool it will spend a lot more long time because we've got more vertices so the terrain mesh will be denser but it's what we need to do in order to get the detail back into the um, generated terrain so once this is done we can look this area where you have the whole steep areas with more details and see how they um, how they look then. And here we can see before they ran across down to the next uh, plateau here, and now I got the actual um, steep gradient as it should be, and you can see the. Um, result of the uh, grid splitting as the uh, the points used is much more regular throughout the whole terrain. There's still some few gaps in there but that's uh, unavoidable for these kinds of um, really steep uh, contours. <laughs> 